to write in our journal so let's get out our journal and we are going to write about the people that live in our neighborhood so think about who lives in your neighborhood what kind of people live in your neighborhood are there are there a lot of little kids around your age like are they three four five or they're older adults let's see so i'm going to write about my neighborhood so in my neighborhood i'm going to write in my neighborhood n n starts with letter n so like that in my neighborhood there are a lot of kids i always see a lot of kids and their families walking outside every day since the weather got better a lot of kids and you know there's a lot of dogs that live in my neighborhood too so i'm going to write there are a lot of dogs also and with the dogs i also see a lot of cats so there's a lot of cats that live in my neighborhood. So not only people can live in your neighborhood, but animals can live in your neighborhood too. And sometimes when it's like around four or five o'clock, there is a older person. He is probably somebody's grandpa. He always comes out and he walks with his dog and he brings a little bowl for his dog. So do you see any older people who may be grandmas or grandpas in your neighborhood? Older people live in my neighborhood. And these, all these people, the kids, the older people, the families, we are not the same color. We are different color. Our skins are different. Some people are lighter skin like this, and some people might be even lighter. And some are a little darker. Some may be like dark brown or like a tan, so everyone looks different in the neighborhood and we all do not look the same. Also in my neighborhood, I'm going to write about the people that go to work. So in the morning, I see a P, G, and E guy. P, G, and E. And do you know what P, G, and E, do you know what they do? They fix our electricity, so if your electricity, so the lights in your house, if it goes off and it does not work anymore, PG&E will come out and they fix the electrical poles that are outside your house. And once they fix it, then you get the lights back on and your internet works again. So that's what PG&E does. And there's also a different person in my neighborhood. He works with a security company. And so security guards, you might see them when you go to the bank or the grocery stores. They're out there and they make sure that we are all safe. And also in my neighborhood, there's a bike trail. So I'm going to write about that. There is a bike trail and there's always people walking um, behind the bike trail. They're either riding their bikes or walking, they're exercising. So there's a bike trail, people walk on there. And do you guys know what dirt bikes are? There are bikes that you can ride in the dirt. They're, they're like bigger, they have bigger wheels than um, regular bikes. and at that bike trail, there's a lot of land. So there's a lot of neighbors that live nearby and they like to go ride their um, big bikes there too, their dirt bikes. Like people walk on the bike trail. And they ride dirt bikes. So I see, I wrote about the different people in my neighborhood. I wrote about um, how we're all different. We work different jobs. We have different skin colors. And we do things different. Some people have pets and other homes do not have pets. And there's a bike trail that people can walk. They can exercise. They ride their bikes. And there's land there so people ride their dirt bikes also. And when you're done writing, if you want, you can draw me a picture of the different people that live there. So there's always different kinds of people that live in our neighborhoods. Share with me on my Mickey Nature Journal entry. I want to see what you guys wrote about your neighborhood. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.